Hi guys, what's up? What's going on? It's your favorite girl, Tupinerica, that Nigerian based in Ghana YouTuber. What's good? Hope you guys are fine. Today's video is really, really different from the ordinary. First of all, I'm shooting outside mm. and I'm sweating, so you have to endure. Yeah. And I have special guests here. I always tell my guests are special, but today is more of like getting to know Michael. Michael and I go to the same church, but that's pretty much I, what I know about Michael. I want to know more about him. I want to know a lot of things. So before we begin, introduce yourself. Who is Michael? My name is Michael. I'm a gospel artist, oh, though nice. still on the background. Mm. But then I came to Ghana as a Nigerian, not really a Ghanaian. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian, full time mm -hmm. Nigerian. And, uh, you know, we heard a lot of things about Ghana and uh, we feel, okay, Ghana is a good country, let's go there. So you came here for greener pastures? Yes, I just came here for greener pastures after school. And uh, ever mm -hmm. since then, I can tell you I've been enjoying Ghana. So, Michael. He's here in Ghana, working with a, a very portable job, manageable. Oh, nice. Nice. I can provide food to my table. Yeah. All glory be to God. So, and here we are. We are enjoying Ghana, Accra. Since Accra. I came, I've been chilling. Though chilling. it took me a little while, like a uh -huh. year before I could get the job. Oh, wow. Yeah, I okay. spent over a year. This is my... How this many years have you been in oh, Ghana? Okay, this is actually going to be my... Fifty year in Ghana. Fifty year, wow, that's 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 yeah. nice. So, where in Nigeria do you live? Like, where did you come from? In Nigeria? Okay, I'm Lagos. a Crossivarian, eh? but yes, I'm a Crossivarian. Cross rivers. Yeah. Oh, that's what you guys are called. I never knew that. That's how we are. That's, that's the best. That's <laughs> that's the <a> best. <laughs> yeah, that's who I am. That's where I'm coming from. And uh, though I based in Lagos before now. Oh, okay. Yes, so I moved from Lagos to Ghana. To Ghana. Yes. Ah, ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Lagos to Ghana. Oh, nice. I was actually in Lagos too. But what part of Lagos did you stay? Okay, I live in Aja. Aja. Ah, lucky side. Then you're one of the rich people. <laughs> <laughs> Quite fortunate people. Oh, my God. You know, you have a lot of, of young people that see yeah. Ghana, not just Ghana, different countries. Like, oh, I want to leave where I am to. Because I hear that when I come to this country, I'll be successful, I'll make money, I'll do this. So I know you said you've attained a certain um, position like in life here in Ghana, but yeah. has it met your expectations? Like the expectations you had when you were coming to Ghana, you know, we all had this expectation. I, mean, I came here for school anyways, but if I was, maybe if I'm going to America now, I had this expectation that oh, if I go to America, I'll blow, I'll just like, is that, that expectation, is it, is, it, is, it, is it a real thing now <laughs> well, or are we still... <laughs> Are we still trusting in God? No, <laughs> Have no, you? no. Has... We, we cannot. What, what thing I will always say is that we can't be counting on still trusting in God for one particular level. Mm -hmm. I can testify boldly that so far so good from the time I came in with the so, kind of expectation I had uh -huh, earlier uh -huh. till now, I think I've even 190% have been met. Yeah. Wow, Sigala is not everybody. No, hundred ninety. No, honestly, because of course you can settle there. We we grow from good yeah. to better, from better Be to best. Better, best, exactly. You know, so that's it. And uh, Ghana is actually giving you what you pay for. Oh, really? tell me that's about one, that. That's one thing I enjoy in Ghana. Yes. Like, what's course. an example of something? People might say it's expensive because of their currency, but yeah. I tell you. If you have your cash and you pay, for example, electricity, uh -huh. if you pay, um, you, then, get exactly, you, you get what you, you pay. You get what you pay for, exactly. You understand. So you, you are a weakness already. And if you want to go out, Ghana is a free town. True. You go out when you want to, want to. come back, unless you are involved in some kind of stuff that yeah, the authorities you are scared of the authorities. Yeah. Yeah. But if you are free, you are doing your legal stuff that are not against the rules and regulations of the country. You are free to do anything, go anywhere. You want to go. That's it. Oh, nice. So I I've like enjoyed that. my stay. And then, so like far. I say, I've enjoyed over 90% <laughs> of my initial expectation. <laughs> right now, I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to for new things because we mm -hmm. grow every day. True, true. Yeah. yeah. True. Moreover, as a child of God, my target is what God is doing now. He will continue to, do. Continue to do. Oh, preach, so preach, preach. <laughs> so, oh, Ghana. Ghana is. Those of you listening, listening to us out there now, you Ghana is a, is, is, is a very open town. Like, yeah. it has a lot of benefits. 
True, true. Unless, like I say, unless you are coming with a corrupt mindset. Corrupt mindset. True. I think that that's. I think that's very. So very Ghana true. is cool, peaceful, calm, security wise. Everything well. is. Everything. So is good. and I enjoy. I'm not saying Nigeria is bad. Don't get no, me no, wrong. No, no, no. We're not saying that. Don't we're get no. me wrong. But Ghana, that. if you come here with your legal terms of business, you yeah. can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Achieve. Yeah. yeah. Unlike Nigeria. Sometimes we get, you know, I don't want to say a lot of things. You know? <laughs> no, let's not say. Yeah. Let's refrain. Let's yeah. refrain from that. So, so yeah, I'm, that's that's good. I'm obliged. Oh, that's it's, obliged. it's nice that because very few people actually say that they've really like attained so much as you have, like coming to a new place. Because coming to a new place, especially when you don't have a plan, like you say, if you don't have a plan, if you're coming to a corrupt mind, it's going to be very hard. Yeah. Because you have to have a plan of number one, where am I going to stay? Yeah. Number two. The expenses because when people come here and say it's expensive or anywhere you have to know where you're going to you have to know okay funds so now you mentioned currency in terms of your expenses here in ghana as an average nigerian living in ghana how much would you say you spend on a daily basis like how much you say <laughs> let's say transportation plus feeding those things like how much you well, say you spend averagely the, you know you're a guy so it should be cheap yeah. if it's expensive <laughs> I'll, I'll look at you like challenge <laughs> I understand what you're yeah. saying. Like everything about expenses matters comes from your tastes, your desires, your needs per day. True. So most times I end up spending if I what I spend sometimes because I have to, I, first of all I stock my house. Uh -huh. There's food there. Hmm. And I'm not a drinking type. Okay, okay. Uh, just just like, like this. Just I'm cool. water. Uh -huh. So and I'm really not an out in time. Okay. Mm, then on the other hand, my jobs my job is just an indoor stuff. I can work, okay, from, work home. from home. Oh, okay, okay. And then so unless there's an emergency from my boss, I have to step out. Okay. Unless I or, or I have a service or yeah. a meeting outside the house. Yeah. I cannot step out. So on a daily basis, let's say I step out and I see something that I want to get to myself. Mm -hmm. The highest I can spend on a day, I can say, is 100 CD. Hey! <laughs> 100 CD. Oh, you must, oh, oh it's, it's good. You know, it's good to, to be able I manage to manage cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah manage. I manage it. And I'm sure you CD. don't have a girlfriend yet. Oh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. That's why it's still, you know, yes. <laughs> Don't go there. Don't go there. You're a very focused person. Oh, yes, because I have to. Yeah, Number you one, have they to. say, if you cannot feed yourself, exactly, you shouldn't be thinking of feeding other people. Other people. So I'm still, to me, if you ask me why I'm like that, is I'm still thinking the feeding yourself. Oh, feed but but myself. you know, still, hmm, that shouldn't just like. It's not like there is. Sorry, let me cut it. It's not like there is no money to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah, spend yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. a lady, but like you have to observe. I'm observe. observing myself. True, I get mm -hmm. that. That's really good. Then that means you you really planned you really planned out your life. You really you there know is where a you life are. after Ghana. I might not be here forever, of but course. if God gave me the uh, 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 privilege to choose, so I'll like say, oh, I like to be here for now. Even when I get married, I like to come back. Hey, <laughs> so I'm think of marriage. Have um, um have you you should probably dated since you've been in Ghana? Have you dated just Nigerians or dated Ghanaians mm -hmm. mixture? Well, well, I've dated. Actually, it's not like I had never had a girlfriend. But in Ghana, a Nigerian girl. Ghana. Oh, nice. Yes, I have. You want to talk have. about that? No, no, I don't want to go there. That's a private life. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> On this channel, like, like, agree to this interview. Okay, but anyways, Michael says that that's a private that's life. That's a private life. But it's but of, the, of course, it's not. It's not like there's a bad record. Okay, there. but okay, yes, okay, uh, okay, yeah, okay, nice. You're not going to. It. All right, okay, no, no problem. So you mentioned you went to uni in Nigeria. What did you study? Okay, uh, I actually school at the uh, first of us take polytechnic. Polytechnic. Oh, okay, okay, nice. What did you study? I studied accountants. Hey, oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. That's 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 uh, that's not bad. See that? I no wonder you're able to. <laughs> Do your cut hey, because it's sometimes at work when you see the accountants there, they're able to do their cost analysis. I'm always like, why are you people just you know, I also have a friend as an accountant every time she's like budget, 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 but like she yes. she she pisses me off with that. She's like, oh no, budget for a budget. I'm like, hey. So that she'll write me like a whole thing of how to spend my like, I beg, babe, please oh. But it's it's really good. It really, good. it really, really does help. Too. It's good. But in the nutshell, everybody should as an individual yeah. have to have that accounting life 
True. Because if you don't have, you what, money is not water. Uh uh. Uh -huh. Water is unstable. True. But that's where money is also a stranger. But water, I can always get it. But you see, money it will come as a stranger and go. So if Very you true. don't manage. Yeah. Nobody on earth can say, I don't do accounting. Nobody. Right. No, you don't study it, but in your life, it has you are practicing a accounting. Yeah. Very true. Because if you don't, you will use money that are supposed to use for school fees for another thing. Very true. You will use money that are supposed to use for your clothes for another thing. Another thing. Before you know, issues that's will be in the house. Issues will be in the house. So, true. that's it. That's how I manage myself and enjoy <laughs> Accra, Ghana. <laughs> Oh, that's nice! It. That's oh, that's, that's 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 lovely. Like that's, that's that's lovely. I really like that about you. You've been like a funny person <laughs> in this channel. I like how you're conservative. You're mindful with what you say. <laughs> I wish you listened up a bit, but it's 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 been um, it's been it's been it's been cool. I, I like your person. I've never known this much about him. I like I said, like we go to the same church. Yeah. You know, hello, hi, blah blah blah, hi. You know, but we've never really had like an in-depth conversation, and, yeah. and it's, it's good. It's good to get to know some people in church. Because the other day I was looking for, I was like, oh, I want to interview some foreigners. I'm like, oh, let me start from my home. You know, sometimes charity begins from home, That's like home. they say. Yeah. So before yeah. you even start looking for people outside, I mean, you have a church That's where you somewhere. have foreigners there. So just uh huh, bring them on board to your channel. So okay. this has been, this has been, this has been nice. So you've been here for five years. You don't mind still staying here, settling yeah. down with life. That's that's nice. So what advice do you have for any young person right now wanting to come to Ghana that does not have a plan? You know, some people just want to, because now, five years ago was better than right now, currently, what of is course. happening like in the world. Let me just say world in general. And someone trying to like relocate to another country because of their current country isn't really being fulfilling to them or promising. Okay. What advice would you give to that person uh, well yes. it's simple as a young boy growing up you have to or a young know, girl or a young girl because it's both, yeah, sides. both side yeah you have to have plan yeah you can't just wake up one day and step out of your house without having where you are heading to mm. that's that's the beginning of life at least something took you out and that thing is not everywhere it's somewhere True. so you should plan where you are going that is the place you're going to get mm -hmm. to. so if you are stepping out to ghana first you think have you asked how is ghana mm -hmm. or who am i going to stay with mm -hmm. the person i'm going to stay with is it going to be able to feed me mm -hmm. am i going to be what, what support am i going to feed to mm -hmm. give out mm -hmm. you understand because if you come to Ghana with a plan, maybe mm. a business plan, mm. or maybe with your credentials you want to apply for jobs, mm. there should be a concrete plan like your, your accommodation, if you have someone that can accommodate you, your mm. feeding, mm. so that by the time you come, mm. at least grace is sufficient for everybody. Very true. But you might come and then who you are thinking is capable of feeding you or taking care of you, Maybe for like one year per adventure, you don't have a job earlier, you don't get a job earlier. My dear, that person in the space of two months is tired. Very true. So you should plan. Yeah. What is your plan? I have to, you know, they said one thing that I can always say determination is powerful than witchcraft. Mm. So if you are determined, some people come with, a, with all of these credentials they want to work, but after one month, two months, not seeing a job, it's not your country. Very true. It's not your country. It's not like your that. country. Yeah. You cannot know. Just get it like if that. I have applied for jobs where I may, I did very well in the interview. I even the person, I think the manager was even giving me some kudos, but I was not selected. Mm. You listen here is no. Why? A man of God told me, my dear, don't be discouraged. One job will still come for you. Mm. When you apply, there are many, in fact, out of hundred of you that mm. applied. 99 are Ghanaians. Hmm. In your country, they cannot take a foreigner and live yeah, and in the indigent. True. So you have to think that as if I have gone for jobs. Eh? But yet, this is where we are. So what am I saying? This is you have to solidify your mind hmm. that whether you come hmm. and that one year, two years, there's no job, you're determined you will stay. Yeah. And then don't corrupt your mind. Hmm. Don't try to mingle with people who are not 
my, who are not having a good mindset was like, sure, sure. if not, you will leave your plan, go to a blue plant that you don't have, that mm. is not even in your budget. Mm. Before you know, you start doing nonsense. Many have done like that, and I can tell you, they are in the cell, mm. in this nation. Many are still doing well by grace covering them. So in other words, Ghana, as a Nigerian out there listening to me, coming to Ghana, have plans. Humble yourself. Have a respectful character. Mm. Honor people's mm. rules and regulations. That mm. is the only way mm. you can stay in Ghana without being harassed. Thank you. I, I liked. I've, I've never talked for anybody before <laughs> on my on my on my hot seat, but that was just like very mm. refreshing, and I yeah. I was just taking the advice. Who would have been here here since? But something you said was very key. Like when you start mixing up with people that don't have the same mindset as you you they just you. they corrupt they you corrupt wow you. wow yeah. thank you so much michael thank you for coming thank, thank you for agreeing to do this video thank i'm so you. happy it turned out better than i i expected yes, and this is it. also the first time that i'm not sending an interview with questions i didn't send you any questions i was going to no. ask you it was just pure <laughs> freestyle normally i give them questions but today i was like you know what i'm going to go different we'll shoot My outside we'll that freestyle is actually a setup <laughs> So you set me up. <laughs> I set you up. Oh, thank you so much, Michael. It's okay. Thank you so much. It's so okay. guys, please, you know what I want. I want you guys to comment. Tell me what you thought about this interview. Tell me what you've learned. Because Michael dropped some very key nuggets that you guys should like have taken notes and gone away. I never knew. Also, I'm not saying this to flatter you. I never knew that you were this like intellectual, like Exactly, you're really please, smart. You're really please. smart. That's really nice. I like intellectual people. So, guys, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, leave your comments, please. I love reading from you guys. Until we meet again. Bye. Bye.